Hello and welcome to our lesson today. I'm C. Tobejani and we'll be looking at engineering science and three hydraulic system. Now with science and three we have two types of hydraulic system. We have the hydraulic pump, and the hydraulic press. In our session we're only going to be focusing on our hydraulic press. What is a hydraulic press? A hydraulic press is a device used to lift up heavy machineries by means of a small force applied. One practical example of hydraulic press would be the car jack. This is a tool used to lift up a car such that certain mechanical repairs are done underneath. Mechanical students would testify to that. On the screen we have a schematic diagram of a hydraulic press. And firstly, we'll be looking at the operation of a hydraulic press. First, let us look at the functions of each and every component in the hydraulic press while stating the operation of the hydraulic press. Here, we have our fluid reservoir. This is where the fluid is stored in the hydraulic press. Remember, the term hydraulic refers to liquid operating mechanism. So, in most cases, hydraulic press use an oil to operate it. We have these two small objects here called the inlet valve and the outlet valve or discharge valve. These two objects are responsible in controlling the direction of fluid, whether it's going back to the hydraulic to the fluid reservoir or it is moving that side to the ram cylinder. We have the lever system. The lever system, this is where I apply my small amount of force. When I lift this object up, liquid will be sucked in from the fluid reservoir, which means that the inlet valve will open up, discharge valve will close, allowing the fluid to move in the plunger cylinder. This means that upon operation of the lever system, I mean directly operating the plunger. Oil will be sucked in the plunger cylinder. That is our, the upward movement. But when I press it down now, the plunger cylinder will push the oil downwards, closing in on the inlet valve and opening the discharge valve, meaning that the oil will rush into the rem cylinder. Now, on the rem cylinder, what we find is what we call our rem rod or known as the rem. In the rem rod, this is where our load is placed right at the top. Remember, the movement of this rem rod is highly dependent on the pressure of the amount of liquid being present on the rem cylinder. Now, depending on the amount of time you pump on the lever system, this particular load on the side will lift up to a certain distance. The number of times you pump is called a stroke. And the number of pumping stroke is represented by a small letter N. The distance moved by the lever system is represented by the letters SE, while the distance moved by the ram side is represented by SL. SE for the distance traveled by the load, SL for the distance traveled by the, I mean SE for the distance traveled by the effort and SL for the distance traveled by the load. Now on the ram side, we have a diameter represented by small letter D, while on the plunger side, the diameter is represented by small letter D, while on the ram side, the diameter is represented by capital letter D. The following are the equations that we must know when it comes to a hydraulic press. Remember, the pressure displaced on the ram side or on the plunger side is equal to the pressure displaced on the ram side, which is given as F over A or F over small letter A. Take note that the force applied on the lever side is represented by small letter F or small letter W and the load 
on the REM side is represented by capital letter F or capital letter W, which means that the area on the plunger side will be represented by small letter A and the area on the REM side is capital letter A. We also have the equation W over capital letter W is equal to D squared over D squared. Now, this equation is used to calculate either the weight of the object placed on the REM side or the amount of effort which is applied on the lever side, small letter W. We also have the equation used to calculate the distance traveled by the REM as compared to the distance traveled by the plunger. Take note that the distance traveled by the plunger can sometimes be indicated by small letter S and that on the REM can be indicated by a capital letter W. However, kindly take note that the distance traveled on the plunger side can be multiplied by the number of pumping strokes, small letter N. We also have the equation to calculate mechanical advantage of the machine, which is load over effort, load representing the amount of weight placed on the REM side, effort representing the amount of force with which you are to apply on the lever side. We also have the equation to calculate velocity ratio, which is given by the distance traveled by the effort divided by the distance traveled by the load. Take note that the volume of liquid displaced on the REM side is equal to the volume displaced on the plunger side multiplied by the number of pumping stroke. Area multiplied by the distance traveled by that particular object multiplied by N, the number of pumping strokes. Now let us apply these equations in our calculations and see what is it that we get when a statement is given to us. Let us look at the first example here. The first example reads as follows. A hydraulic press has a rem with a diameter of 100 millimeters. The plunger has a diameter of 25 millimeters and a stroke of 150 millimeters. Now, let us extract our data to ease our calculations here. Now, the hydraulic press is represented by the capital, I mean, the REM side is represented by capital letter D. They said we are given 100 millimeters, and if you convert this to meters, it will be 0 0.1 meters. Remember, we normally deal with meters when we are to calculate, and they said the diameter on the plunger side is 25 millimeters, which is 0 0.025 meters. Kindly note how you are going to do your uh, conversions from millimeters to meters. They've given us the stroke. This is the distance traveled by the effort. That is the stroke length. It is 150 millimeters which is the same as 0 0.15 meters now the question they want us to calculate the force to be exerted on the lever side which is small letter f to lift a load of 2000 kg which is capital letter f now we know that the capital letter f will be given by mg which is 2000 multiplied by 9.8 but because we know that with science, we always have our calculators handy. So we are going to calculate that 2000 multiplied by 9.8. This should give us 1000. This should give us 100 or 19,600. Sorry, 19,600 newtons. This is the amount of load that is to be lifted by this particular machine. And they said if the mechanical advantage of the whole machine is 300. So the equation I would use here would be mechanical advantage is equal to load divided by 
effort. What am I looking for? I'm looking for the effort, small letter F, that is to lift this machine at that particular height. I do have the mechanical advantage. I have 19600 divided by 300 as the mechanical advantage. So this is 19600 divided by 300. This gives me 65.333, 65.333 newtons. This is that little force that I need to use in order for me to lift a load of 19,600 newton, hence 2,000 kg. The next question says, calculate the number of pumping strokes. This number of pumping strokes is represented by a small letter N, required by the lever to lift the load 150 millimeters. Now we are given SL. Equation to use, I will use my equation S D squared multiplied by N is equal to S D squared. I'm looking for the number of pumping strokes. So S D squared divided by S D squared. Now take note of the take note of the capital letters on the REM side and the small letters on the plunge side. Now, the distance here that needs to be traveled by SL is going to be 0 0.15 meters as well when we convert it to meters. So, we're going to have 0 0.15 multiplied by 0 0.1, which is the diameter of the rem. The distance of the plunger side is also 0 0.15 multiplied by 0 0.025 squared. Punch that in our calculators. We're going to have 0 0.15 multiplied by 0 0.1 squared all divided by 0 0.15 again multiplied by 0 0.025 squared and our answer here is 16 strokes what does this mean now it means that the number of pumping stroke this side how many times you must pump here in order for this to move 15 millimeters up is 15 strokes. I hope you understand what is it that's happening here before we move to the next question. Let us reanalyze our question here. A hydraulic press has a rem with a diameter of 100 millimeters we change our 100 millimeters to 0 0.1 meters. Whilst the plunger has a diameter of 25 millimeters, we also change that to 0 0.025 meters. And a stroke of 150 millimeters, we change that to 0 0.15 meters. This is the distance, small letter S or SE, the distance traveled by the effort. The question wanted us to calculate the force to be exerted on the lever side, which is the effort, hence the small letter F, to lift a load of 2,000 kg. We need to multiply this by the gravity in order for us to get the amount of weight. With the mechanical advantage, MA is 300. So we went to our equation, mechanical advantage is equal to load over effort, and then effort is equal to load over mechanical advantage, 16,000. 19,600 divided by 300. Where did we get the 19,600? We multiplied the 2,000 by 9.8. This indicates to us that the smallest amount of weight that you need to apply is 65.333 newtons. The next question says calculate the number of pumping strokes. Remember I said the number of pumping strokes is represented by small letter N required by the lever to lift the load 150 millimeters. We also change that to 0 0.15 meters. The equation that we are going to use is S D squared multiplied by N is equal to S D squared. Then we are calculating our N which is the number of pumping strokes required by the equations. When we punch on our calculator, we got 16 strokes. I hope this is understandable, dear students. And on our next session, 
we will be looking at a hydraulic pump. However, on your own, this is the work that you need to do. Copy this question. Try to answer the question on your own. Give me the processes that you've taken to calculate this. And then we'll see if we can help each other if there are any problems. The question reads as follows. The diameter of the rim of a hydraulic press is 90 millimeters and that of the plunger is 15 millimeters. The stroke of the plunger is 25 millimeters and is operated by means of a lever which offers a mechanical advantage of 15. Calculate the force to be exerted on the lever to lift a load 12.5 kilonewton. That is the first question. The second question says, calculate the distance that the load will move in 80 strokes. The last question, the volume of liquid displaced in 80 strokes. Now, let me give you a hint here. This is your hint. Your mechanical advantage will only apply to your lever system and not the whole machine and not the whole machine. Your mechanical advantage will only apply to your lever system and not the whole machine. That's it for now. Go and try this question and then let us see if you produce adequate answers for us to tackle in class. Cheers.